let's talk about this video all right so in this video i'm going to show you how i do my hair when i want it curled and you know little tips and tricks so hopefully they're helpful and i hope you enjoy this video all right so let's begin So before I start, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you won't forget and click on that notification bell so that way every time I post a video up, you'll be notified and not miss out on anything. Now materials you're going to need, obviously your hair because you're curling your hair. Number two, you'll need a little butterfly clip or like a rubber band but I prefer using a clip. You need some hairspray. All right, and this one's optional, but I do use it sometimes, sometimes I don't, and it's dry shampoo. Then you'll need a hairbrush, and I'm using this one. It has my hair in it, so I don't know if I want to show you or not, but eh, it looks like this. All right, any brush will do. Then you'll need your heat protectant spray. So, here we go. And you will need your curling wand. Now this one looks like this. It does come with a pair of gloves, or one glove I should say, but I don't know where it is. So, if you do use a curling wand like this, definitely use the, uh, the heat uh, glove wand or glove. That way you don't burn yourself, but I don't have one, so I'm using this without a glove at my own risk, alright? So the first thing I do is I turn up my wand all the way up. I mean, I guess you don't really have to do that, but personally, that's what I do. I just bring up the heat to the highest temperature, and I let that sit and get and like let it warm up. In the meantime, I get my Tresemme Heat Protectant Hairspray, or spray, not hairspray, or whatever. And I start spraying my hair. All right. After my hair has been all nice and sprayed and spritzed, I start to section my hair. So I work in like layers. So the bottom layer, middle layer, top layer, and then the very, very top layer. And the piece I'm not working with, just kind of twist it up. And I clip my hair away. So that's like out of my way. Now, with the remaining hair on the bottom, I split it down in two pieces on each end. And I get my uh, brush, and I kind of like brush my hair. Now, take a piece of hair like so, and taking my wand, I'm going to wrap my hair making sure none of it is overlapping or at least trying to make sure none of it is overlapping and I just count to like 10 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 all right and I carefully take that up if the camera's picking it up and there you go my first hair curl I just toss that in the back and I move on to the next one so I just grab a piece grab my wand curl my hair and I'm not wearing gloves and if you're not wearing gloves which you should be you want to be really careful because this can really burn you and 10 seconds that was probably about eight nine ten seconds right there let go boom curled all right let's move on and do the rest of my hair all right so the bottom layer of my hair is all nice and curled and one trick is after, right after you curl your one piece of um, hair that you sectioned out, if you get like a bobby pin just and you just kind of gather your curl and pin it that way while the hair is still hot and as it's cooling down, the curl will, um, and if you bobby pin it like this, the curls will stay curled a lot longer. So, but for me, I just like to let it kind of like hang down, let the weight of it kind of pull it down a little, because I like it when my curls are a little bit more looser looking, if that makes sense. 
So yeah, bottom layer is curled. And now we take the next layer or section of hair. So what I do is I take all the bottom layer and I bring it to one side of my um, neck or face. And then I grab another section clip up the rest of the hair I am not working with and begin my curls again so my next layer of hair is complete and basically that's all you do you just get layers of hair or sections of hair and you just keep curling it and curling it until your entire hair is done all right pretty simple so I'm going to just finish it up and then come back and show you guys. Alright, so I finished curling my hair and I think I got every single hair piece that I wanted to curl. And so right away you want to unplug your curling iron or curling wand. And you can leave it the way it is, but what I like to do is um, I like to kind of loosen up the curls with my fingers a little bit. That way... They kind of look more tousled and natural looking. After you've loosened up your curls the way you like them, this is where the dry shampoo and the uh, hairspray comes into play. Basically, you can use dry shampoo to like spray in your roots to give it a little bit more volume. Or, and or, you can use hairspray to kind of lock in that hole that you have and spritz it all around. Let's pretend I'm doing it now. Spray, spray, spray. Lift up the hair, spray, spray, spray in the roots, and kind of like massage it in, you know, work it out, work it up, and voila, hair is complete, okay? Hopefully you learned something new today or some a new trick to do, I don't know. One of the last steps I do, I don't have it with me, sometimes is after I'm done, you know, curling my hair, my hair is still a little bit warm. So I'll get like a hair blow dryer and set it to the cold setting or cool setting and cool, cool dry, you know, like blow dry my hair with the cool air, cool dry my hair. That way the um, heat is all gone. I feel like when I do that, the hair does um, stay curled a lot longer. I'll all right. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it. And if you don't like it, then thanks for watching anyways. And I guess I will be seeing you guys next time. Alright? Bye!